So now let's talk about making your own diamond sprays. I've shown the video before. I've linked to it. I'll link it again in this one. I am not looking to have debates on this, but my in my experience, you know, there's there's basically two types of diamonds out there uh, for making different things for abrasive uh, paste or sprays. You have monocrystalline and polycrystalline diamonds. There was a study done and basically they found out that poly diamonds will fracture and they kind of, it fractures and makes more sharp pieces again. And so the, the, the belief there is that, that they're better than monocrystalline diamonds, which are kind of one size and they don't fracture the same. So they perform a little differently, but there was a great study that found out that us as sharpeners, or especially if you're putting this on a strop or hand stuff, we're not using enough pressure or speed to get the benefit of poly diamonds. So you're kind of paying a whole lot for something that we're not using enough pressure and speed to even make these things fracture. Now, will some people want to argue that with me? They might. They might want to argue. I didn't do the science on it. I just, you know, I've seen it and I've done my own testing and looked at things under my own digital scopes. I've tried expensive poly diamond benches, sprays and different ones. I've tried inexpensive monocrystalline diamond sprays that I've made myself. And I found that for me, they work just as good. So, that's been my experience. Maybe other people have different experiences with it, but I have found that you can buy inexpensive monocrystalline diamonds. Uh, one of these, I haven't bought them in a while because I bought them in bulk when I got them. They used to be around $7. I'm not sure what they've gone up to now, but I will take these. I mix them with around four to five ounces of isopropic alcohol, 99%. That's what I like to mix it with. I've tried water. I've tried, I tried making my own suspensions. Suspensions are pretty tricky. I probably didn't uh, pay enough attention in chemistry to uh, learn how to make perfect suspensions and guys that have figured it out and make fantastic suspensions are not gonna tell you their formula um, because they're probably selling it. Uh, so a lot of times it's trade secret stuff. But in reality, what I found out for what I'm doing, I can suspend this in alcohol, uh, shake it up, spray it on my leather strop. It gets in there. It does what I need it to do. If my strop starts to dry out a little bit, I'll treat it with a tiny little bit of mineral oil. I don't bother trying to mix oils and alcohol and different uh, things that will make it into a suspension anymore. I tried for a couple months. I thought that might be fun to get into. I found it very frustrating because what happened was sometimes it worked. Sometimes I got a suspension. Sometimes I didn't. But what I found out always works. I mix it with alcohol. I shake it up before I need to use it. I spray it on. I shake it a few times as I keep doing and it gets on my strop. It gets in my strop and it works really, really well. If I think my strop's getting a little dry, I'll put a little mineral oil on a rag usually and just kind of rub it into the strop. I won't, uh, I won't pour it on or make it real thick. I literally just very lightly Put it on there and i have straps that i've been using for years and that works great for me and i've also done the same thing on flat straps so this is just the regular wood strop um and this is monocrystalline diamond sprayed on here and kind of rubbed in and when this starts to and if i strop a knife on here you'll see it start to turn uh, black from the, the metal uh, if it gets dirty i can clean it off with some isopropic alcohol and retreat the leather if I need to with a little mineral oil and put a new batch on. Uh, very simple. And that's what I do. So, you know, if you want to do this, the beauty of mixing your own is it's very inexpensive. Uh, you're probably talking less than $15 to make one of these where, you know, go look at some of the diamond, poly diamond sprays. <laughs> some of them, you know, an ounce, they might charge, I've seen them 40, 50, 60 bucks for an ounce. When I can make a monocrystalline diamond spray, that works really, really well when I add it to a strop. So I, a lot of times I use two. I've kind of settled for me on two that I, 
two ranges that I really like. On my first strop, if I'm going to do a two strop process, I'll put around a three micron, around 6,800 grit. I'd even be totally fine. Like I, I don't even get that crazy. Like I'd be totally fine with four micron, which is 5,000 grit. On my second strop, I tend to go a bit higher and I use one micron, which is dependent on, you know, like I said, these numbers and different countries and everything else, they can be some fluctuation there. Somewhere between 14,000 and 22,000 grit. That I usually put on my round strop that you guys have seen on the variable speed grinder. And if I'm doing a two strop process or, you know, or, uh, or a, a two belt or a three belt, it depends. You know, I might do a 120 Cubitron belt, a A30, which is 800 grit, then strop on uh, one leather strop with three micron and then strop on the uh, round leather wheel with uh, one micron and be done. Uh, it does a beautiful job. If you go to the 22,000, I like to use that a lot of times for the Japanese knives. It will start mirroring that edge out a little bit, but it's super affordable and it works. I'll just tell you like, go ahead and play with it yourselves and you know, do what you wanna do, try different stuff. If you wanna make emulsions or if you know more about chemistry, it is one of those areas you can get deep into the weeds and do a lot of fun stuff with. Uh, for me, I've tried to keep it real simple today i'm gonna mix some up so basically i use somewhere between four and five ounces of alcohol i put it in a mason jar this one's got a four ounce mark i'll dump that entire container so this is 25 carat weight i'll dump the entire thing in here and then i will fill that with four ounces of isopropyl alcohol and then i shake it up and then I take that and I transfer it to a little, these are the biggest ones I could find. I couldn't find four ounce ones. Uh, so I have a bunch of like 2.5 and three ounce spray bottles. I transfer it to there. I keep the other stuff in the uh, mason jar. I usually write on there what it is. Usually put it just a piece of uh, tape up there. And as those empty, I refill it. And they last me a long time. And that's what I spray on my straps. So that's it. Uh, I hope that helps some of you guys out there. All right, have a great day. In the description to the YouTube video, I left links for just about everything that we saw here today.